low hello. Today, I would like to show you some information I found out about the weapons. There are quite a lot of discrepancies between the weapon statistics, such as shown on the Wikipedia, the online calculators, and the weapon descriptions, versus how they behave in game. So, without further ado, let me show them to you. So, in order to show you what I'm talking about, I designed these test benches, one per weapon. I'll start by showing you the known values of the weapon, and then I'll show you the real values of the weapons. For the railgun, there's just one difference. The plasma, laser and autocannon, however, do not have any differences between the Wikipedia and the in-game properties. So here are the test benches. Each test bench has got just enough electricity produced to keep up with the electric upkeep of the weapons. So each test bench will have exactly the same buttons and displays. The first buttons you see are the active button to turn on and off the enhancer, the shoot button in order to shoot just one of the guns, the left one, just above we get the battery indicator, it just displays the level for one battery. We've got the generator unit rate, and then we've got the battery deficit. The battery deficit is the sum of all of the missing energy of the four batteries combined. This is what's going to be used to measure the amount of electricity needed for one shot of each weapon. And here is the heat that is displayed for the weapon that is the one shooting. On the left is the max recorded heat. So this is the biggest heat value that the gear lol is able to measure. It's not 100% accurate, but it's good enough. And lastly, we've got the heat dissipation. It measures what is roughly the amount of heat dissipated per second by the weapon. Now that the generators are at 100%, I'll disable the enhancer. This normally states the input and output electricity to be to zero. But as you can see, the batteries are being depleted ever so slightly, very, very slow. This is in fact due to the YOLO. YOLO needs a very little bit of electricity to work. Removing the YOLO sets the system to be on equilibrium. This is also why YOLO does not work when there is no longer any electricity. Now that the system is up and ready, I'm just going to shoot the auto cannons once. So there's quite a few things happening at once. Everything that is heat related seems to be accurate. However, the amount of electricity needed per shot is 130. This is more than what is stated in the Wikipedia and weapon description. The laser yields similar results with correct heat values but incorrect needed amount of electricity per shot. The plasma also does the same thing with just the amount of electricity per shot being incorrect. The railgun, however, is completely different. The amount of electricity needed per shot is way superior, 35,000, and the dissipation of heat per second is only 10, not the announced 100. The upkeep is also only 1,500, not 1,501. To sum it up, it seems that all of the weapons have been very roughly nerfed of around 10%, with the railgun being hit especially hard. This concludes my video. These are the informations I wanted to show you. The link to the blueprint will be in the description of this video in order to allow you to tinker with it and see the results for yourself should you want to do so. Thanks a lot for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!